so we are going to learn about fluid mechanics so for generally speaking analyzing of fluids in a mathematical way is very difficult if we consider a solid due to its rigidity we can easily analyze and we can easily formulate we can come to a result we can calculate easily the solid but in the case of liquid or fluid it's difficult because it does not form rigidity or it does not form elasticity so this creates a mess in fluids but even though the scientist on mathematician have given some formulas and methods to analyze fluids so so if we if we consider fluid there are many types of fluids for example um newtonian fluid non newtonian fluid in general expectation but if we consider a gas in a gas molecule the density of a molecule in a volume 1 into 1 into 1 will not be remain same at all the time because gas gas fluids are moving so this may be the density may be sometime one sometime go behind one because more due to the pressure due to temperature so the density varies if you take the small portion in this cube this is a cube if you take small portion the density of the whole cube should be equal to the density of the small box so the density of small box should be equal to density of for full box then only our analysis could be easier but practically speaking the density of this box will keep on changing because of the um, moving or mobility of the molecules so here we consider the density remains uh, equal at various portions or elements we consider so then so this is known as continuum so it is continuous at the small phase the row is continuous at the small phase and if we draw a bigger cube if, if we consider a bigger cube then its density should also be equal to the density of the smaller one and if you consider bigger than that then th that density should be equal to the, the density of the uh, box we consider so this this box density should be equal to the density of this small box and this box should be equal to so if you consider any large type of boxes or containers at every phase the density of the fluid must be equal if you keep on reducing its size if you keep on reducing the size of the box then at a one phase the density will not be equal to the density so at that phase the continuity of the system is failed so that system has different approach so here we are going to see about the fluids which are continuous continuum flow which are continuous fluid so let's go to that so to differentiate continuum fluid from other fluids nuts and number this is a very useful ratio so nelson is a scientist who gave this ratio to define continuum fluids 
from non continuous flow so he says that a fluid is considered to be continuum if mean free path that is lambda to that of length that is considered in the problem should be less than 0.01 so what is mean free path so mean free path is nothing but uh, fluids contain molecules uh, do you agree with this fluid is say, a combination of um, collection of molecules so if we consider a single molecule then the mean free path is the distance between the successive collision suppose this molecule has collided with had a collision with this and traveled a distance to d and the second collision with the other another molecule with this distance so this gives the mean free path of the molecule so this lambda and the length we have taken for this that is the length we consider for our uh, experiments or our uh, uh, problems is l so this ratio should be less than 0.01 for continuous flow